Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Fading Fire, and today we're gonna be doing a uh, Kimbo's guy for Alyssa and Josie. Well, of course, we're gonna be doing Josie first, as she is on the screen first. <laughs> They've really been my flavor picks of the week. I've really been picking them a lot, so I thought I'd do a Kimbo's guy for them. And uh, after the Alyssa video goes up, I will be streaming, so look out for the notification for that. But now that we've gone through all that introductory stuff, let's get right into it. So the first move I want to talk about is her while standing one. I think this is a pretty awesome move. <clears throat> uh, it's 13 frames on startup, plus seven on hit, and minus four on block. So it is a safe move, and plus seven on hit is a lot of to work with. You know, if they try to push buttons, you can even get like a hop kick in there or something. Uh, you know, if the if the startup of their move is too long, you could really get a launch punish off of that. But the really really good thing about this move is it leads forward a little bit. But not too much and of course since it is a a wow standing move it does have some crush properties to it so if they're coming in with uh things that are highs like jabs or you know like high strings or something like that as they're moving forward you can like meet up halfway with them and get a counter hit and on uh on counter hit it is a combo starter <clears throat> and you know it does big damage on with outrage i think it's like 63 damage when you finish a combo with this string uh so let's have him let's try to demonstrate it uh, i'm gonna have him do like one jab and then do more jabs or something oh fuck <laughs> whatever i guess we'll leave that in there right so as he it's like jabbing a lot or whatever and you space it out correctly and as you meet up with him right you can really uh it took him a while to start that you can get like a cool little counter hit right there you see like that as they're like trying to start up something and then you can get like a cool combo off of it and it works more more than you would think it would right i get a lot of counter hits with this uh more than i would think right <laughs> i don't know why i had that four in there but uh you know i get a lot of counter hits off this and this and this damage is pretty nice off of that so i really really like this move it's a cool animation too you know just like a quick little uppercut that she does and it's a really cool looking move and it's a really good move in my opinion 13 frames plus seven on hits really good and minus four on block so it is safe you know and my only minus four too so uh you know you can really put up some defense after only minus four so this is a really good move and i recommend throwing it out there sometimes do a while standing one because uh like it's a 13 frame startup which is quick and you know it'll really surprise some people sometimes and it is safe on block you know which is really really important in times like these especially now that the game has been out a little longer and people know you know moves and starting to learn punishes and stuff safe moves are really a go-to her next move that i want to talk about is her forward one plus two now this move to me is super sick super sick in uh the case of it looks cool right that's cool ass looking move <laughs> like a lead a lead elbow that move is sick but uh it's a 14 frame it's a 14 frame punisher so this will be her 14 frame punisher anything minus 14 uh and uh it's knockdown knockdown on hit and it uh can't combo sorry i'm on yeah there we go uh so that's the combo for it all right uh this string right here but 14 frame punisher knockdown on hit and only minus five on block so another safe move but you do have to remember it is a high but the recovery is relatively quick so if they do duck it and they try to go with something big uh sometimes they won't hit i've been ducked by this multiple times and they try to get like a while standing two or something like that and it's missed because this move is the recovery is very very fast uh quicker than you think it will be and another really really good thing about this move is the amount of space you cover with it you see all that space i'm covering look at that huge amount of space uh, not so much there but that's a very very large amount of space and things and this can do some really niche things uh i'll switch to claudio so i can show you guys but we'll we'll be back all right so we're back and now i want to talk about uh you know the niche things that ford one plus two can do uh, like I said, it is 14 frames, but you know, really, really good thing about this move is how much space it covers. So it is a good whiff punisher. If they whiff something from, you know, about this range and, you know, they think they're going to go away free for it, this move can really reach and fuck them up. This move is pretty sick. But uh, things like 
demon upper and you know other things that space out really really well this move it can actually punish that things like uh like for example paul's death fist you know how it spaces out really well because of the amount of push block this can reach him almost at like any range and i want to show you that with uh claudio so this string right here is like minus 27 on block or something ridiculous like that it's like minus 27 on block but uh the thing about it is he goes really really far god damn it stop doing it he goes really really far from you right look uh look at the amount of space he creates when he finishes that move now if you uh time this right you can like run up and do the forward one plus two and it'll be a punish i don't know if i can time it right i'm on a console so I'm not used to really playing on console anymore. <laughs> there we go. So you see that? You see that punish? So this move has some really, really niche things with the amount of ground that it covers. And it could punish some stuff that you wouldn't usually be able to punish with other characters. So this move overall is a good with Punisher. Uh, good 14 frame punish, right? This is her 14 frame Punisher. And, and it creates a lot of... It covers a lot of space. The, space, the amount of space it covers is pretty awesome. But it is a high, and if they're on point, they can duck it and punish you for it, right? If they're on point, because the uh, recovery is kind of fast, and it's only minus five on block, so another safe move in our arsenal that is pretty awesome. So overall, this move is pretty good. I like this move. Uh, I use it a lot. I throw it out there a lot, especially for whiff punishing and punishing things that aren't necessarily block punishable, right? And it gives you a lot of a lot of control with the knockdown. And if you're near the wall, you know, uh, you know, it gives a little bit of push. So this move is pretty sick. All right. So her next move that we're going to talk about is her while standing 2-1. This move is super important for Josie. Super important. Uh, I'm going to switch characters again. <laughs> we'll be back. All right. We're back. We're back. So <laughs> sorry for the switch and all the characters. I just want to show you guys, you know, the, the niche things that this these moves can do. So. Now, what we're we talking about? Her while standing 2-1. This move is ultra important, right? Why I say it's ultra important and not just super or, you know, regular important is because this is a 13 frame while standing punish launcher. Now, you guys will, like, all right, 13 frames, so fucking what? Sorry if you guys hear that fucking lawnmower. It's like, god damn it, whatever. Uh, all right, this is 13 frames while standing move, just like Twin Pistons. Uh, Twin Pistons on Kazuya. I think Kazuya is the only machine that has Twin Pistons. Uh, that's 13 frame while standing launcher, right? So, <clears throat> the reason this is so important is because there's things that are 13 frames, right, that you might not be able to punish with other characters. So, people like uh, Kazumi, who can only get like a while standing 1, 2, or something like that on 13 frame. Josie can full launch punish. So, uh, in regards to Eliza's back one, two, four. If you block this, right, it puts you in a forced crouch. That last four part, and it's a minus 13 on block. So if I was, say, Kazumi or somebody, I'll be able to get, like, while standing one, two, you know, for a little bit of damage. But Josie can full launch punish that. And there's a lot of niche things she can launch punish, like Brian's hatchet kick, uh, Nina's down back three. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of crazy things when you really, really look into a character's move set that you can really fuck up with this move. This move is so good. While standing 2-1. 13 frame, uh, 13 frame while standing launcher. So I suggest that you you practice the hell out of this combo. Right? That uh Like I said, I'm not used to playing on console and the times are a bit different. But uh so I, I suggest you really, really practice this combo because this combo is going to be important, especially when you start delving into uh, other characters' moves that are minus 13 on low. Like, you know, like Nina's down back three, Brian's hatchet kick, you know, Eliza's back one, two, four. And when I run into Eliza's on uh, online now, I really, really want them to use that string because you can full launch punish it with Josie. 13 frame punish it, really good. But, uh, so it's 13 frames and it's only wait it's minus 13 on block though minus 13 so you know they could get a pretty good punisher 13 frame punisher but you know not launch punchable but i usually don't use this move for uh you know just to throw out there unless i know i'm ducking under something right unless i know the string 
like uh, you know say if uh, say if Eliza was doing this string right so unless I know the string and I know what's coming right and I duck under that part I really won't throw this move out because it's minus 13 I'd rather go with this you know get some plus frames or you know maybe get a counter hit or something like that but this move is very very important and it's a huge buff or not buff it's a huge asset to Josie's overall move list very very important move 13 frame launcher just like twin pistons all right so for our last move we have full crouch four I like this move this move not only does it look cool right? I think a lot of uh, Josie's moves look cool but so it's a 21 frame startup of course you have to count uh, the time that you know you have to do the full crouch motion so of course that goes into the frames of the startup plus one on hit and on counter hit it is a combo starter all right you could <laughs> get a I like to call this the soccer kick I don't know what the hell the kick is actually called but this kick looks pretty cool too <laughs> right <clears throat> so on counter hit you get a full combo but it is minus 15 on block which is launch punishable for pretty much everybody not pretty much i think everybody has a full uh, while standing 15 frame punisher but the the good thing about this move is it has all throughout high crush properties right all throughout so it never it never could get hit by highs and this can proceed to a lot of counter hits man I'm telling you, this move gets a buttload of counter hits. I get counter hits with this move often, uh, so I might want to learn the most optimal thing to do. I don't even know if this is the most optimal thing to do. If you know, tell me in the comments. But uh, yeah, so this move, it gets a lot, a lot of counter hits. And of course, if they do duck, right? So if you go into the full crouch motion and you're near them and they think you're going to do it and you don't do it, you can always do a while standing 2 1 to kind of like mix it up and other stuff like that. So this move gives a lot of control. It's plus on hit and on counter hit, you know, if they're spamming highs or something and you manage to hit them with it, you know, because if you not know the exact timing, you can do it on the 21 frame startup on the dot. This move turns into a counter hit monster. This move gets a lot of counter hits. You can just like kick them in the butt, you know, and it has a little bit of carry on it. So, uh, you know, you could carry them to the wall, get some pressure, you know, other stuff like that. And they're not in a position to where they can uh you know do like a very good while uh, you know on the ground attack or something like that overall this move is pretty good i'll throw it out there too much i usually use it when i know a lot of highs are coming and i don't want to risk a while standing one you know getting hit out of my while standing one on my while standing two one and i use this move and to get a counter hit and get some good damage but yeah, that's the only four moves I want to talk about for Josie for this key moves guide. I hope you guys enjoy. I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. I enjoy doing all videos for you guys. I enjoy streaming for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys come out. But that is all I got for you guys in this video. I will see you in the list one. So see you there.